So welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being here. This is our client appreciation series journey through our body this week. We've been working on spine and hips and shoulder and today we're traveling down to your knee. So the focus is going to be your knee and hopefully you will leave here with a few really great knee exercises just to strengthen and stabilize and some that are more intense that you could use kind of every day as a maintenance or a little bit of every day as maintenance for your knees. The props you need for today are a little ball would be great or a pillow would be would take the place just fine and a TheraBand would be really helpful. If you don't have these things, you can do the exercises without it and then consider getting one to progress your exercise or pro progress your strengthening later down the road. So for today, I'm going to have you sit down on the floor. You could actually sit on the floor or on a chair if you prefer for this first little set. We're going to have a seat and I'll try to show you this is a little more subtle as we go. This, there are several subtle exercises that really help strengthen the knee and once you understand the concept then we can plug it into other things that we do and get extra knee strengthening, strengthening on the way of a lot of our Pilates exercises or other exercises. So you may not see very clearly in the video because they're subtle, but I'll try and explain what I'm after. So the first exercise, I'll have you just go onto your back, drop down to your elbows so you're supporting yourself, or you could lay flat if your neck starts to be tense. Try not to collapse yourself in the shoulders. Try and keep that open. If you're flexible, you could actually sit all the way up if you're flexible in your hamstrings. So either way, the more you sit up, the harder it actually is. And all I'm gonna have you do is flex your feet, and you could do both legs at the same time or just one. And when you flex your feet, I'm, I'm really mobile, so my heels actually pull off the floor, which is fine. It's fine if they don't as well. And I want you to feel like this little muscle above your knee right here starts to bulge out a little bit. And then I'm going to release that again. So flex the feet, tighten. I should feel some work or almost like my kneecap is lifting up into my thigh or upwards towards my hip. And then flex and squeeze and release and flex and squeeze and release. Flex and squeeze and release and flex and squeeze. Good release. So that one we call quad set. We're gonna take that to a more difficult level. Here I'm going to flex and hold. So I really want to have this muscle on nice and solid right here and then lift up my leg Put it back down. My goal is to place my knee down first and then release. So flex and lift. Lower with the knee, back of the knee, trying to get to the mat first and release. Other side, flex and lift. Lower down, release. Flex and lift. Lower down, replace. Other side, flex and lift. Down release and flex lift down release switch again flex and lift down and replace same side and lift down let's keep going with that a couple more times uh switching sides again and what you want to make sure take a look at your knee with your eyes make sure that it is actually as straight as you can get it so there's a lot of lengthening i'm doing out the back of that heel back of the leg to make sure that when I go down, I don't get floppy. I want to keep that really straight. Uh oh, Good, other, other side, there we go. Sorry, something happened with the video. We are all good. Down and release, other side, uh, same side one more time. Down, replace, nice. Okay, so grab your ball or your pillow and we will put the ball underneath your knee, one of them. The, if you want to make, well, we'll start with the easy version here. Keep the back of the knee at the ball. And from here, I'm going just to lift up my foot and bend the knee again. So I'm almost pressing in the ball, flexing that foot and down. Really small motion, same goal. Lift up the kneecap, tighten right here. Good, tighten and release, tighten and release, tighten, and release, and tighten, 
and release. Let's switch sides. Tighten and release. Good. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. And just see how tight you can actually make that. Nice and strong. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. And tighten and release. Great. So let's go back to the first side. If you want to make this more difficult, you can wrap your band around the ankle of the leg that's going to move and step on it with the other foot. So now as I go up, I have resistance and then release. So pull up against that resistance. So that makes it a lot more intense, depending how tight you pull this band. I'm digging my heel into it and I'm pulling quite a lot of tension because I want to work hard and tighten like all of you who showed up this morning. And release. So I want to get as much out of it as I can. I love that feeling of this muscle working on the medial side here. Good. Two more. And release. Tighten. And release. And tighten. Release. Great. Then I switch sides. So bring the ball underneath the other side. Wrap it around my ankle. Place the knee at the ball. And put my heel into the band. Right there. And then I can go tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten and release. Tighten, release. Tighten, release. Tight and release. Press, release. Press, release. Press. Release one more and press release. Nice. Okay, so those are the really nice subtle exercises we can do. While you have your band, go ahead and grab it. And I'm lazy, so I don't like to tie knots. I really, I'm gonna put it around both my knees, wrap it around. If you want more resistance and you have a long band, you can wrap it twice. I take the ends and I roll them around the ends of the band so that it's the theraband's usually sticky enough that if I roll it, I don't have to tie it. And then I end up with my band just where I want it again. When I unroll it, I have my nice long band. So here I will press my knees open. Ooh, I made mine really tight. And then release. So I'm pressing open and release. Pressing open and release. Pressing open. And release. So keep going there. This is a really great exercise to strengthen. It's also strengthening your hip, but to, just to strengthen this lateral side of the knee, give it a little more integrity here. When we're looking at stabilizing and strengthening your knees, we want to think about the four sides of your leg. So we have the front, we have the back, the obvious, so that's quads and hamstrings. We have the inner thigh and we have the outer leg. The outer leg is not a lot of muscle. It's really fascia, but there's the ligaments and tendons there that we want to maintain strength with because then they'll help us glide and steer that knee. Same thing on the medial side where we have muscles and tendons running down or ligaments and muscle tendons running down the inside of that knee. So it, yesterday we were working on hip, we did the inner thigh presses. That's also really great for your knee. Although since you know those already from yesterday, I'm not going to repeat them, but you could put a ball here and squeeze inward also. That would be excellent work. I'm going to take you to some more advanced things. And working and strengthening your knees will help your hips as well, and vice versa. Working your hips will help you strengthen your knees. So some of these exercises will overlap. Good. One last and relax. Great. So we're going to pull that band off, and then if you haven't tied it, it gets nice and long again for you, which is great, because we're going to need it going forward here. So I'm going to have you come up to standing. We're moving pretty quickly this morning here. And take your ball and your band with you. I want you to put the ball between your knees. You can put it high between your inner thighs or lower between your knees, wherever it feels most secure for you. And I want you to line up your hips and your feet in the same line. So really important that we get this alignment right. So
so that we're not going to we're going to steer our knees in the right direction. We're not going to get any torquing. Here we're going to keep the parallel placement and have a seat hip crease back and sit downward. So I'm going to hip crease enough that I can take the weight on my heels and come back up. So hip creasing back and standing up. Keep the ball there, keep the pressure on the ball. That's really going to help keep the steer the knees forward and not let them do anything wobbly. And up and down and up. So if this is hard on your knees, you can take yourself against the wall. So leaning against the wall and bring the feet forward would be great. That just gives your legs more room and more pressure backwards so the knee doesn't have to travel so far forward, which would help make the knees feel better. So really trying to get back and up and back up. Let's do two more there, back and up. Now this last one, hold it down there and we will pulse down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Try and keep the chest up, try not to fold in half. Right, keep that chest up as much as you can. Down, up. Oh, my quads are waking up now. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All the way back. Beautiful. So one of my other favorite exercises is to stand here with the ball and just squeeze inward and let that pressure help me find my inner thighs on. It also really helps me align the knees and legs while I'm standing on them. So relax, exhale, squeeze. Really let the legs squeeze towards each other and then release. Squeeze and release. Nice, squeeze and release and squeeze and release. Good, squeeze here and lift up on the toes. Great, lower the heels and find your squat. Come up, lift up, keep that pressure. Heels down, find your squat. Up, lift up, heels down and sit. Up, lift, down and sit. Let's do two more. Up, lift, down, and sit, last up, lift, down, and sit. So if you're really feeling strong, you can progress that to the single leg version, just lifting the one foot, going down and up, lift up, down, and up. So if that is something that you can do, this would be a great way to strengthen, right? You can do that on both sides and practice getting really strong there. Okay, so for our next little exercises, if balance is an issue and you don't want to worry about it right now just so you can work on the strengthening, I would recommend uh, grabbing a chair or something that you could put next to you or your foam roller that you can put your hand on. If you're feeling good, it's great to challenge your balance, but just so that you can get through the exercises safely, if you need that, go ahead and grab that. Otherwise, you can just stand in the middle of your room and hope for the best, no, I'm kidding. So here, I, you have a two choices. Ideally, I wanna put the band down at my ankle. That's gonna help strengthen through the knee joint. If that is too uncomfortable for you, you can put the band up at your knee to start and you'd slowly work your way to the floor. I will place the band on the floor, it's folded in half, put my foot on top of it and my other foot inside. And then I want to find enough pressure on that band that I have some tension. So I just stand on the doubled end, the looped end is around my ankle, standing up really nice and tall here. And then I'm gonna start with a press open and slowly back, press open. Slowly back, press open. So we get two great things happening here. One, my stance leg is actually doing a lot of work. And two, my leg that's moving is doing work through that knee. So granted, this is also strengthening our hips, which is an added bonus on both sides. So my glute on this side and my glute on this side are also working. 
but I'm also getting some work on that, for now, the lateral structure of the moving leg and stability work on this leg. Good. So from here, I'll, I'll keep everything the same pretty much, just kicking forward instead. Kicking forward. Good. Kicking forward. Nice. Forward. Keeping that body really nice and tall. Six, seven, and eight. Good. I turn around so that you're, I'm turning so you can see me, but I'm taking this back leg, bending the knee, putting the toes on the floor. Then I will straighten the leg out, take my weight on the forward foot. Now I'm kicking back. Kick back, 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 and back. So it doesn't have to be a big motion. Then I reach the leg that is looped in the band a little bit forward. Now I'm going across. And you may need to cinch up on the band to feel some resistance on it to do this one. Across, 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 Woo. across, 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 nice, and across, and across. Good. So stay here with the band. I'm turning again so you can see. I'm going back to putting this leg behind me. The band is around my heel, hopefully. And then I'm going to bend up and slowly release. So bend and slowly release. Bend and slowly release. Now we're activating this hamstring on the moving leg. Bend and release. So make sure you're controlling the motion downward as much as you're working the way upward. So the pace should be maybe even slower down than it is up. Bend, release, bend, release, bend, release, and bend, release. Excellent, let's switch sides. So take the band around your other ankle, place it on the floor and step on it. That's it, pick up some tension there. Stand up really tall and here we go, going out and out, out and out, out and out, out, out. Nice, kicking forward, forward and forward. Good, staying up really tall and forward, forward, and forward, 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 and forward. Nice. Going back with the leg. So I, I like to start by putting my toes down, get my weight forward, and then lifting up. Up, up, kicking back, back, back back and back, nice. And then we're going across the front, so I'm taking up some more slack, and then going across, across, across. Good, try not to let the hips go down as you go across, so make it a small motion is fine. Cross, across, stay tall and tall, nice. Turn the foot in the band again. This is the one where you want the band ideally on the heel is a little bit better. Take that leg back and then whoops, bend. I got lost too much slack here. There we go. And then we're going bending up and bend, bend, and bend, bend. Bend, nice hamstring isolation. Bend, bend, and bend. Beautiful, and then relax. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down to the mat so that I can show you my favorite quad stretches, which for the knee are excellent. Always hamstring stretch is always great. Lateral hamstring stretches too, but you guys know those from yesterday's class. So here, my favorite one is actually to come right down onto my mat, right all the way to my tummy. And if you are tighter, you're gonna want a strap or a band. 
lay down on your tummy and then bring your leg up bent. So you can start just here, do a little test for yourself. See if when you bend your knee, your hip also comes up off the floor. If, that, if that's true, that means your quad's really tight. So what you want to do is push the pelvis into the floor, try and keep the hip on the floor, bend the knee, and then you have a lot of choices here, depending how flexible you are. You can grab the knee and pull it in if you're nice and flexible. If you're tighter than that, you want to put the strap around your leg, and then you can hold it, pulling it in at whatever level you can go. Keeping that hip down, so I'm, I'm always constantly correcting myself pulling the pelvis into the mat so that I really get this nice clean stretch of my quad. You wanna make sure that the leg's not going out to the side either. So you're holding it there. Good, so a lot of ways to do this stretch. I like the one on the tummy because it really opens up the front of the hip as well and gets that quad that I want to get stretched out there. You can do the standing quad stretch, which is same thing but standing. You could also do the sideline version. Go ahead, switch sides. So using the strap or just holding on, pressing that pelvis into the floor. It's a really nice quad stretch here. Right, so you could do the standing or sideline also. Making sure that you're not getting into your lower back, pressing the pelvis into the floor. Right. Pressing, pressing. Good. I hope you can feel that in your quads. Looks like you guys can. Great, and then relax. So just remember, when you're strengthening a joint, you want to strengthen all around the joint, so all the muscles. We did hamstring, we started with quads. We did a little bit of lateral work, a little bit of medial work. We did hamstrings. So that's rounding us off. Remember also that a lot of the hip exercises are great for the knee and vice versa. Today we did squats in parallel with that little ball support. That's great alignment work, strengthening work for the knee. Yesterday we did our deep squat for the hip to open up the hip. So those things can actually help both joints as well. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow is our last day of our week, and I want you to start thinking we're gonna throw at you a little 14-day challenge that we might want you to jump into after this. So we'll give you all the details tomorrow. I'm excited to see you then.